Hi everybody, it's Mark Lewandowski with Mind Your Business. Today we're going to talk about the three things you should do every day before 8 a.m. I was reading my emails and one of my viewers said, Mark, what do you do before 8 o'clock in the morning or before work that gets you ready for the day? So I want to share that with you. Okay, so number one, every morning before 8 o'clock, I think about what are my goals for the day. Now you might say, oh God, I've heard goals, goals, goals all the time. No, no, hold on, hold on. I set three kinds of goals. One, what are my accomplishment goals? What are the things I absolutely have to get done? And don't make that list too big because it eliminates your ability to be flexible, to be dynamic. Number two, I set attitude goals. I'm a hard charging son of a bitch. And because of it, sometimes if I'm not careful, I'll roll over people, maybe hurt feelings and I don't want that. So I set my goals and I say, What's my attitude going to be today? Am I going to be more loving, more caring, more appreciative? Set those goals. Next, I set a personal growth goal. What am I going to do today? What am I going to read? What am I going to watch? What am I going to do that makes me a better person? I want to be better tomorrow than I was today. So that's really important. Set your goals. Your accomplishment goals, your attitude goals, and, of course, your personal growth goals. Next, I go into my closet and I open my closet and I pick a wardrobe that matches what my goals are for the day. If my goals are to accomplish a bunch of great things, then I don't dress and choose an attire that's slovenly and gross and comfy. I choose something that's really going to be great. That includes shaving, doing my hair, what do I do? I uh, do I iron my shirt? Do I press my pants? What am I going to do to make sure that my outward appearance prepares me to accomplish my goals? Okay, finally, I look for ways every morning to help somebody else in a manner that won't help me. In other words, I really look at myself as a charitable person. How can I help someone else or some other organization in a way that's just good for them and not selfish for me. I believe that this is part of who you are as a spiritual being, that when you help other people, you grow, you expand, you become better, you become bigger, you become more influential. So, here's what I do. I focus on my mind first. What am I going to accomplish? I focus on my body. How am I going to prepare my body to make that happen? And then I consider my spirit man, how do I give back to my community so that I'm not a selfish, narrow-minded jerk at the end of my day? I want to be a well-rounded person, and I think you do too. Thanks for listening. Watch us on Facebook, like us on Facebook, and make sure that you understand that luck is not a strategy.